So this is going to be a beginner's guide to customizing your racket by adding weight. Sometimes that's lead tape, tungsten tape, tungsten putty. Some people are even just taping metal coins to the sides of the rackets to increase the weight. It's a little bit rudimentary, but you never know. A few grams can go a very long way. So Tencom is very happy to announce that we're now affiliates of Grapple Snake. My favorite string is Tour Sniper. If you want max spin, I like the Neon Dust Hybrid, 10% off link down below every purchase counts towards us as well so we get a little chunk of that change help tencom scramble out of our horrible debt so on to some customization right so there are a few different places we can put the weight in the racket and the throat and then in the hoop when we're talking about putting weight in the hoop we think of it like a clock so 12 3 6 9 each location comes with a set of consequences, right? So if you add the lead at 12, that's going to have the highest effect on swing weight and increase your power the most. The further away from the handle that you place the lead, the higher effect it's going to have on that swing weight. The next location that's very popular is 3 and 9 o'clock. So that is, of course, going to increase the swing weight because you're putting weight towards the tip, but it's really more increases the torsional stability of the racket. So if you hit the ball off center, like towards here or towards here, the weight out there is going to give you a more stable feel. We could also call this increasing the twist weight. Now the last place is adding weight in the handle. So weight in the handle is really going to be increasing the recoil weight. So adding a little bit more comfort and a little bit better stability, especially for shots like returns backhand slices or volleys. Now, of course, you can put weight in between. Like if you only want to increase your static weight, but you don't want to increase the swing weight that much, you would put weight as close as you can to the balance point. If you want to increase power, but also a little bit of the twist weight, you could put lead at 10 and two, which is also very popular. So the other day, Katana Sport reached out to us on our Instagram page at tencom.media. If you didn't know, we do have an Instagram page. Anyway, so Katana Sports is copper balancing tape. It's a replacement for lead um, with a couple of different reasons. The main one being t lead is toxic. Well, you shouldn't eat it. Um, so the concern is that you, you apply the lead tape and maybe you don't wash your hands right away or something happens where you touch your mouth or you touch your eyes and you die instantly. So let's take a look. All right, so we've got our copper tape here. We've also got our scale, and then you're gonna wanna grab, obviously, the racket. Next thing I would do is recommend like giving it a quick clean. So you can see on my racket, there is some residue from the lead tape before. We just wanna get that off, obviously. I just have like a paper towel with some water on it, but rubbing alcohol would obviously do a much better job. Right, so you're obviously gonna want to grab your balancing tape, whether it be lead or this cool Katana Sport Copper stuff and weigh it. So we can see on the package here that it is 0.2 grams per inch um, balancing tape. So every inch is 0.2 grams. I typically like to start with two gram increments. I find one gram not super noticeable. Two grams is almost always noticeable, but never overboard. So we know that if we wanna add two grams of copper tape, and the copper tape is 0.2 grams per inch, we need to add 10 inches of copper tape. So I recommend you get something to measure with and be scientific. So I'm just really using my hand as a guide. I don't think you need a, you can use a pen if you want, but I really don't think there's any need to be that precise. Then I'm just making a cut. Okay, so here's my 10 inch strip and it does weigh two grams. Excellent quality control by Katana Sport. So when we're adding lead to the hoop, I like to make sure I'm placing the lead on one side of the plane and on the other side of the plane, which means if I'm only gonna add two grams, I'm actually gonna wanna cut this 10 inch strip in half, like so. I like my lead at 12 o'clock, so we're gonna start there. So the other thing that I like to do is just fold this piece in half so I can find a center line and then most rackets have like a little hash mark right at the top to help stringers so I'll use that center line as a guide and then every piece of balancing tape is going to have an adhesive backing so you're just going to peel that off here there's no center mark but I know the tour is in the middle 
So I kind of line up that little center fold there. And then I go along with my hand and just flatten it down. And I try to follow the curvature of the frame, doing the best I can. And there it is, the copper tape is installed on one side, and obviously you're going to want to repeat that. So this is really like the time that it's nice to have the copper tape. You can see I'm really handling this tape with my hands quite a bit, and if you're using lead, that is just toxic material going straight into your body. I personally don't think the lead exposure is that big of a deal, but, you know, I maybe don't care about myself that much. Um, so what I'm doing here is just kind of pressing the tape into the racket, just to make sure that adhesive sticks. I really notice that this copper tape is not quite as pliable as the lead, so it's pretty stiff. You'll notice Tennis, Re Tennis Nerds Review also mentioned that the edges were a bit sharp. I did find that too. Um, luckily I was able to be pretty careful going into this because I had some preconceived ideas. Alright, so there it is. It's on. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, you would just do the same thing at 3 and 9. Whenever you're adding lead, don't add only to this side and not the other side. You want to keep things as balanced as possible. Now, there are a couple of ways that you can add weight to the handle of the racket. The first is opening up the trap door and adding in silicone or adding in some tungsten putty. I personally am not a fan of opening the trap door and putting stuff in there as I found that there are times where it gets dislodged and you end up with chunks of whatever you put inside rattling throughout the whole frame. When I was a stringer working at Courtside Sports, that was something I found pretty often. This is my personal racket, so we've already actually got some lead underneath the grip, and I just wrapped it around the handle all the way like that. Um, kind of ends right there. Now, some people are concerned that, again, with the lead, that if you have sweaty hands when you're holding it, it might kind of contaminate through the grip. This is leather. It's not that porous, so not a big deal. Also, don't really think it's a big deal anyway. I haven't experienced any health effects from it, so be as cautious as you want with that kind of stuff. So another thing I'd really recommend checking is the balance point of the frame after you've added some lead. Now I just do this a super lazy way. I just get a pen to use as the center point. I kind of roll it around until I find the balance. So it's right about there. Then you just measure it and you can see I've got like a 31 centimeter balance point with just two grams of lead. I'm going to add the rest of this lead off camera to get things back to where I want them to be for my personal rackets. Um, but I really hope that helps.